Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial or Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Today I'm going to be modeling, showing a very simple way to model doorways and thresholds here in Hexagon. So to start off with, I'll begin with dragging out a cube and let me see. Okay, there we go. That'll work. Okay, this is my building. And what I need to do now is come over here to Select Faces. I'm going to use my Sweep Surface tool. I'm going to sweep inwards to create a doorway. And I guess that will work. Validate that. Select that polygon. And I'm just going to stretch it up roughly to create a door. There we go. OK, what I need to do now is I need to bring these points. Uh, let me come over here to Point Mode bring these two points down flush with the bottom of the object. So I'm just going to select that point. And here is the position that it um, currently has in 3D space. So I'm going to select it, copy it, select those two points, delete that number, paste it in there, and hit Enter. So now I've got my door where it needs to be come back to select faces, select that doorway there, use my sweep surface tool and I'm going to sweep outwards just a little bit to create uh, the wood molding that goes around it. Sweep surface tool again and I'll sweep inwards so to there. I'll validate that. What I need to do now is select that face and I'm just going to do my best to make it even. There we are. Sweep Surface Tool, Sweep Inwards, Spacebar, there we are, validate that, select it again, and I just want to size this up, there we are. Sweep Surface Tool one more time, and Sweep Inwards, okay. Now with the current frame that we've created, it would be fine for a window, but it will not be suitable for a door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these faces, these polygons here for the bottom, and that one right there, and hit my delete key. Now what I want to do, come over here to point mode, I'm going to select all those points, select all those points, and now what I need to do is zero them out on the Y axis. So I'll hit zero. Okay, well let me try that one more time. Actually, excuse me, I need to hit zero on the size. Zero. There we are. And now what I need to do is pop it right back down to where it needs to be. So under position, let's get rid of that. Paste that previous number that we had. And there we go. Now there's one more thing that I want to do. I want to create a threshold for my house here. So I'll create another little cube. There we Okay, there we are. And just to get it where it needs to go, I'll just use my lay on tool, get it lined up right over there. And I'm just going to roughly roughly eyeball it to the size that I think I want it to be. Okay, let's stretch this out a little bit. Top could come down a little bit more. Actually, I've obviously done something. There we are. Well, my sides here are not correct, so delete that. I'll just create a new one. And lay on. There we are. Okay, that's the... That's a little wide. There we are. Let's 
drag it down a little bit. Okay, well now what I need to do is I need to position this accurately right in between. It looks pretty good the way it is, but uh, well, let's do it accurately. And fortunately, um, Hexagon has some great tools. So the first thing I want to do is let's make this smaller than it needs to be. I'll drag that out there. What I want to do is position the back corner of my threshold right there. So use my snap align tool, snap right there, and snap right there. And in point mode, select those four points. Use my snap align tool again, snap there, snap right there. Come back to, I guess, object mode will be fine. Now we can use the scaling tool, drag it out, that's perfect. Edge mode, select that edge, and just drag it down. So there, eh, probably a little bit too much. Okay, so we've got a very simple doorway uh, right here in Hexagon, and it looks uh, looks good. Certainly no problems with it. And all you got to do now is take your door and model it from there, or just leave it right as it is and pop a door handle on it. So that's it for this tutorial, modeling a very simple doorway here in Hexagon. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.